Oh my god, we played that so poorly and still kicked his ass. Oh my god. Why did I go for the Mika there? Should not have done that. Oh. He's loaded. Oh my god, he was so stacked. What's up, guys? Coming at you today with something a little different here. I wanted to take on the permadeath challenge. So there's zero to hero. There's uh, something else called permadeath on top of that. And what we're going to be looking to do here is... Start a fresh class, level 1, Cleric. It's my favorite class. I'll be doing that for the challenge. And what we want to do is see how far we can get, how many levels we can get on just one run. And if we die, the run is completely over. So just to show you guys here, the stash is all default Cleric gear. Uh, for the perk, I think I'm going to take Advanced Healer just to keep myself alive. It's There's plenty of other perks you can choose here, but I think I'm going to go for the Healer just to try to stay alive. Um, skills, we're just going to take Judgment and Spells, hover over the Spells. We're going to do Holy Strike, let's her heal, Bless Protection, Divine Strike, nothing too crazy there. Three stock standard stuff. And uh, we're going to be playing exclusively Goblin Case for this, so we'll see how far we can get into the G Case, how many levels we can get. All right, so we're going to want to loot up pretty much everything we can. We came in here with nothing, so we need to use all our surroundings to our advantage. Such as pots, barrels, all that good stuff. Go for a kill on this guy. Let's talk about staff for a little more magic damage. Really hard to block the buckler, so I don't know if I'm really gonna go for that. Let's buff up to take down the archer. <laughs> My little buckler like I was gonna really block that. Such a terrible shield. Yeah, you get movement speed, but like, it does almost nothing for you. Maybe I should go kill that other skeleton while I still have Bless Active. Bolt, why am I even taking a bolt? I'm not gonna take my staff out, no time for that. I'm just gonna dodge. I, I'm not used to blocking with this super tiny buckler. It doesn't feel like a good play. Let's pop our potion. Up what we can. Oh, that's a really nice amount of campfire. Dude, sometimes you find better loot in these boxes than you do chests. Like, I, I've seen someone say that, too. What we got here? Anything we can use, really? And right, we're gonna drop graves. Definitely not trying to drop in there, just looking for loot. Anything we can use to our advantage here. Someone's doing cave troll. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice to kill someone doing cave troll right off the rip, huh? But I really just want to get out on this uh, first run here so we can just reinvest in ourselves. Buy a better weapon, ideally. In a spell book. It's kind of like a weapon. Okay, someone was here. Goblins are dead. Go this way. Let's just see what's on both sides. Boot up, why not? Any gobs here? Did someone kill these? Ooh, bronze chest. Not gotta pick it. Okay, there is a barbarian over there that killed everything. Not really looking to fight a barbarian. Cleric's really slow, so it's pretty hard 
take down a barbarian. So we're just gonna avoid that guy. Sounds like he's coming towards us. Oh, we're just gonna keep it moving. And over here, this is a pretty high PvP area over here. Ahead and to the left, I should say. For that. Archer, I'm just not even gonna risk it, I'm gonna use my protection. Wait for him to shoot again. Damn. Not quite fast enough. Let's get this other guy here first. Just line up our swings. The last swing always does the most damage for any weapon. Just keep kiting him in one direction. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Your players could be below us. God, this default mace sucks. You need to be careful, you're not really looking to fight anybody. Only if we have to. Depends on portals. Some of us just grab protection shrine, is what we just saw there. Which is fine. So, uh, there's no entrance for him here, so he, he can't come up to us. Obviously, we wouldn't want to fight someone who's shrined up. Yeah, he's running. He must be uh, low. Maybe not. Alright, let's loot this up. Oh, that's huge. Enormous find right there. Better Morning Star is really gonna. Oh, it's green too. Let me don't stand in the zone, out of zone, you know. Let's heal this up. Someone right here. Not fighting us? I close the door. He must be low, right? He was had his second wind going. I want to fight him. I feel like he's low. He's gotta be low the way he's playing. Yep, there he goes. Nice, huge come up for us there. I just knew he was low using second wind and the, just how nervous he was playing. Kind of obvious. Oh man, this guy's geared. I mean, he's not he's not super geared. Let's not get too excited, but I just noticed the pendant and nice, it's a blue. All right, drop a lot of this useless crap and get the sellables. Fuck. Oh, you're friendly? All right. That would have been a bad time to fight, so. I buffed up just in case he's lying, but uh, just because the door is closed. Gotta be careful, right? Was there anything else there for us to loot? I'll let him loot that body, it's fine. I don't want to get, like, delayed in a bad position. There's a barbarian below us that I'm really trying to avoid. We could rest soon. Is these, uh, one-cost spells? Come back very quickly. Oops. I knew there was a spike trap over here. I was try trying to find the right spot. Oh, nice. Someone on our right is someone below us. See if I can rest in zone here. I thought I heard a guy coming up here, so I'm just gonna open this door just in case so we have an out. Even if it's outside of zone. Oh, there's a portal down there. Oh, there's two of them. 
Oh, sweet. <laughs> we were able to steal it. I heard another player there right at the end, so, yep, there, look at this rogue. That was the friendly rogue from before. Let me watch this fight real quick. I don't know what that guy's doing. He's dead. This one. Not good for that rogue. Barbarian just gets out of here if rogue doesn't push. Nice dodge from the barbarian. Yeah, I don't know what the rogue's doing. He's, like, stealthing there. He could have pushed. Oh, well. That's a really nice come up for us. For this perimeter death run. We got a green morning star. We even got a good shield. And now we can just reinvest in ourselves. So let's uh, take some time to do that. What are we get in this very first run? 51 gold. Not bad at all. I'm just going to sell the rest. Alright. I'll sell, sell. 79 gold. A little bit more. So early plate armor is actually really powerful. I might might make that play. Burst and uh, 23. Oh, uh, it's so expensive, man. I think we go for it, though, just for the cast speed. Got anything here for me? Uh, huh. We already have the heavy, uh, the leather leggings, so I'm okay with that. Kettle hat. Meh. Not bad, 28. No magic resist, though. I, mean, I want something for my head, and I'm debating between this. 510 versus 1610. I think we'll go kettle. Just be tankier. And then, uh, plus one whale. You know, that's a little more damage for us. It's definitely better than the frock. Could be worse against mages, but it's not really a big deal to me. I think I'll take it because we have our other bases covered. I'm just using all our gold, obviously, because uh, this is a permadeath run after all. Any decent boots for us? Ours are already quite decent. Plus one magic power? I mean, that's nice for uh, the damage and the judgment. 853. Yeah, I mean, we'll take it. Why not? Use up the last bit of our uh, moolah, you know? Alright, cool. I think we made some nice purchases. We do still have the campfire from before. And just use the rest of our cash here to get that. Sell up. Two gold, yay. Can't do anything with that. And we didn't have any. We didn't have enough for that. Alright, cool. We've used all our gold here. And uh, just to give an overview, we got this nice green weapon. Decent stuff here. A couple of greens we found. This is really nice, having an agility. Spellbook. Gonna cast a lot faster, so... It's exactly what we want. We'll keep the invis pot for now. And uh, let's get back into it. Okay, here we are again. Uh, much stronger now with these uh, upgrades we got. Well, that's uh, four damage right there, right? Three and one on the boots. Oh, did we level up? I actually didn't even remember to check. Like, we're not even remotely close to level 5, so it really doesn't matter. I knew there was a trap there, I forgot where it was. And of course it hits me in the face. Luckily we're a player. And we just heal. Block him. Bonk him. Bonk. He did. Let's top off our heal real quick. There is another trap down here that I'm going to avoid. Let's go kill all these guys for XP though. There's a bunch of dudes in here. Would not be a bad choice with our uh, situation. Trying to level up. I don't know if rocking them all at the same time is the right call, but I want to fight them. Oh man, the buffing plus this green morning star is just so much damage. Should not have gotten hit by that. It went right through our protection. Really just trying to use our uh, buffs here, though, is why I'm going kind of going crazy with the bonks. Cool. I'm 
which helped to read oh, okay cool we found a bandage so we'll just we'll just go for that there was another trap in yeah there it is this this room over here is like so strange it's like killing the spiders that spawn in here and there's like almost nothing in here i guess i'm desperate so i'll go for it but i really don't like that room it gets you almost nothing come on just gotta be patient I'm not gonna rush that Take unnecessary damage. It's such an easy uh, puzzle to avoid. Oh, shoot. There's another one in here. Alright, well, we got some XP, but as you can see, two small chests for all that nonsense. Bunch of spiders, too. Not really worth our time, in my opinion. But we got good zone here. Oh, well, there are some extra chests back here. But we'll see what we get. This is a good circle for this. Usually you get bad circles with the amount of time it takes to open this. Oops. Well, really crap loot, so... Not the best. Oh, did I loot the bat? I don't even know what happened to the bat. Oh, there it is. Alien. Nothing we want. There's that trap. You look at all these traps you have to deal with, and then you get, like, almost nothing from it. Like, who wants to do this? Nobody. That's who. You can make so many mistakes as clear, so that's why I love it. It's just so strong. One of the reasons I like this class so much. At least as far as Goblin Caves goes. Team Game's very different. I forgot where the trap is, so I'm not going to risk the damage. Okay, that's the spider room, and this is... Maybe this is champion room, right? Uh, I don't want to go in here, if that's the case. No, it's not. It's the... Frank buff room. This is a high PvP area, so I need to be careful. The player here. Of course, this isn't being cleared. Oh. Drop some of that shit. I think I outplay this. Yeah, easy outplay there. His, uh... His buffs ran out. I got hit with the Keely Strike. Shout out to my last video if you haven't seen that already. I hit with the Keely Strike and knew to stop moving. Wow, what a come up for us. So, I just played that very well and he played it poorly. He shouldn't have kept chasing us after he missed his stuff. I think this is as good a time as any to campfire since we just got one. I think he even got hit with the trap there too, but I still have my Bless going. Bless is so nice early on. And uh, we were good to go there. The Blast gave us that extra agility, extra strength. You might have noticed I quickly dropped my helmet. Please no. I quickly dropped my helmet and plate um, gloves to give us more move speed. There's a Warlock above us. I'm just trying to heal up real quick and then let's move on and get our armor. How am I going to do this? Like this. Oh, he's just leaving. Cool. He's right above us. Doesn't sound like he left. Okay, mummy's still down here. Surprised this mummy did not aggro the... 
Barbarian. It really felt like we set it up for that. This is the problem with plate armor. You're just so damn slow. It's not the heaviest part of plate, though. I guess I'll take it. Okay, we got a player over here. He's really trying that. It's a bad play from him. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just really stupid from him wasting his health on that warlock spell. I knew I could just fully strike him out there. Easy as hell. Look look how powerful cleric is, guys. Do you, do you need more convincing? Like so easy the place we're making here. Or is it easy, or am I just that skilled? Ooh, can I drop my... Should I drop that? Minus three. No, I think we keep it. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, just outplayed that guy with some simple spell casting there. And we were buffed up. You gotta remember, our Bless is giving us plus three will. So we actually do more damage than people think we do. There was a blue portal up here once upon a time, but, uh, looks like not- Ooh, there's the worms over there. That's- that's not what I want. Oh, the exit's over here. Maybe just go this way. Where was that? Just use buffs instead of round, and this looks like a rogue stone. I'm just gonna stay buffed here. No reason not to be. Someone already left. Maybe there isn't a player here. Shit. Where's the portals? <laughs> portal, portal, portal. go. God, I was so worried about a rogue, I realized that, like, we are out of portals, and someone took this escape. So we're out. Oh. There's still potential three, uh, or two enemies in this lobby, so if you look in the top right, only six died out of nine. I'm one of them, so two potential enemies there. But we, we did very well. Like, look at this. We're level two now, and my god, look how rich we are. Let's, let's take it all in, boys. Let's see how rich we are. Screenshot that. Big deal. 167. I'm not gonna bother buying, uh... Oh, even more than that. Plus 12. I'm not gonna even bother buying the, uh... The coin purses, because I, I intend to just immediately reinvest this. So I'm really digging movement speed. 28. I, I'm thinking about getting rid of the gauntlets, to be honest. Buy some more healing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's get everything we need here. Best stuff we can possibly get. Your shield, no. Ah, really crap uh, rolls for us. Uh, we already checked this, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, second campfire doesn't hurt. We have been blowing through our spells. I'll just put it there for now. Uh, huh. I don't love this kettle hat because of the moose seed. I mean, this is only plus three moose seed. Is it really worth me to be? Seven percent, ten MR. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth to to lose that. I think I want movement speed, man. Oh, you know what? We could do goblin. That's where our money is. I know some one of these uh, one of you guys watching this right now has been thinking like, oh, just do the damn goblin. It's something. All right, what should we go for? Boots. We have boots. I mean, but let's get rid of whites and grays. Okay. So basically our options are, since we already have a pendant, it's this ring or it's the frock. You can only get one. We don't have any rings, so I'm leaning towards ring. Do we get anything else besides that? No, not really, huh? Yeah, let's just get, get the ring. It's a big cost, but screw it. Wow, really nice roll on that. Huge. Two will, one additional magic damage, and magic pen. Like, that's everything you want right there. And not be complaining about that. Oh, they're whites. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. They're white, too. Because these are all gray. Yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I think that's the best we can get. I was really hoping there'd be even better loot for us there. But we got a nice ring. We got a nice pendant. Uh, fortunately, no better shields, right? Yeah, it's a buckler. So, yeah, nothing really else for us. We checked all the vendors. So, yeah, we could get drunk, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. So, yep. Nothing else for us to do here. All right. Let's head to the next one. Oops, I want that. I should have picked up my other torch. Don't think I had the time though. Okay, let's get into the next round. Um, just keep the good times rolling. You know, all we want to do is buff up before every single fight we can. And uh, we are still uh, farming XP, right? So what am I doing? I, normally I skip this because my main clerk is uh, level 20. But uh, might as well be killing things, right? Brocal. Fastest way to level up is uh, extracting and killing things. Extraction is the usual though. If you don't extract, you miss a lot of XP. Cool. We're hitting hard with this maze. Right, yeah, action speed 37. Morningstar is just so powerful. Should be flares below us. We can break these. Let's break open this first. Big thing is the cleric is trying to get your bus off before you get engaged, so whenever you hear or see a fight coming, just pop those bus before you fight. Damn, all that loot for nothing. I mean I guess I'll start grabbing whites for now. That's a gray. But uh, you know. We're gonna end up dropping a lot of this later. Always take up uh take those lanterns, they sell for quite a bit. It's like jewelry. Hearing my own footsteps and thinking it was someone else's. <laughs> own skull. Not bad, actually. Yeah, we get less boost speed, but it's way more protection. Minus 8 to minus 12. So we might need to get rid of these. And we got riveted gloves to do that, actually. Uh, they're grays. 
Do I want plus three move speed back because of this hone school? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think the move speed's just too important. Yeah, I already feel a little bit faster. Sounds like a bard. Below us. Below us. Let's just see our options. Biggest thing I'm worried about is a rogue, you know? Because the last thing you want is a cleric is rogue pop-ups. Really any class, I don't think you want that. Only time a rogue pop-up wouldn't be that bad in cleric is if you're blade armored. Then, then you can deal with it. Hold on for that. Oh, we don't really need that. Spellbook. Alright, let's start clearing this. Let's get some XP, yeah. Blesses you can kind of waste because they come back so quick when you uh, sit on the ground. It's going to hit hard with all this will we have, a judgment. Don't need that chapeau. We're far from zone, aren't we? So just farming some XP here for now. Crypto Cleric killing people with the Horseman's Axe. Horseman Axe meta is just so annoying, man. I see many people complaining about it, and I'm, I'm right there with you. Barbarians should not be fast. And they make themselves fast with that. I don't know why the strength buff Barbarians get also gives them move speed. You know, if you got strength, which is HP and damage, I don't think you also need move speed. You need to be slow, because you're a Barbarian. My opinion. Death Beetle there. Judgment. I don't think there's anyone around here, so. Judgment is, judgment is not a big deal to use there. Always want to have your judgment up when you're fighting someone, so. Kiting that out is a good strategy. To use it. Have it available. Oops. Equipment. These top areas, I find, are like pretty low pop usually. It's always like this underground action. I see a blue just now. Maybe not. Huge. The wizard below us. Green plate boots. Nice. Do I want to be slow? Plus one boost speed? I mean, you kind of got to take that, don't you? Do we don't want damage or we want more tankiness. Really debatable, right? Only two boost speed. This only gives three, so... I don't know, I think we'll go for it, even though we're, like, loud as hell now. These plate boots. I, I hate that it's so loud. That's my only complaint about plate boots. I think I just heard a player. Whenever you think there might be a player, just use your buffs. You don't want to find out the hard way. This screams rogue, right? Oh, there's a dead rogue over there. It's a uh, ranger, actually. Dude, we are so loaded, it would be good to just leave on that blue. And worry about fighting more later. Like, look at this. I think we just take this and keep rolling the goblin merchant. Yeah, we got a player there. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him steal this from us. We're just gonna take it. Get out of here. Oh my god. It's a good thing we made that choice. Look at this. Look at this dude with his full blue gear and stuff. Level 20. My god. Alright, it is a good thing we made that choice. I am glad we got out of there. Alright. Nice, we're leveled up to level 3 and we have such a huge stash again, so... We're just playing smart, you know, guys. This is a permadeath run, so you can't think like, Oh, action all the time, kill everyone, like... No, it doesn't really work that way. You want to play strategic as well. And we did get a few kills, so... It's not without action. Uh, okay. I'm not really stashing anything, because this is a permadeath run, right? So what was our glove situation? What is that? I'm debating this. Let me come back to this after I, I check the vendors. Let's check the vendors.
Let's go in order. Uh, you got nothing for us. Yeah. What do you got? Nothing for us. Nothing that we care about. Could consider that. But I, I, I'm digging the goblin right now. So we might get a better frock. Maybe that's what we do. So let's keep checking. Leathersmith. Heavy boots. Worse, I think. Especially because this has plus one move speed, so yeah, I'm going to call that worse. Bam. Nothing there. Looking for like a blue mace would be nice. Nope, 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 of course. Taylor, what you got? Nothing. Does any of the loot change this fast? I don't even know if it changes this fast. So we're just going to go with the goblin. Buy a frock, right? I mean, we already got a blue pendant. We don't need that. Green boots. This is white. Let's get this frock. Oh, uh, no, we got screwed. Does that have any... Nah, it doesn't even have any stats. Just a white frock. Uh, unfortunate, the goblin screwed us there. Could roll some boots, like... Heavy boots would be nice not to be, uh... You know, so loud. I think we'll just go for it. Like, we're not spending this on anything else. Okay, plus one will. That's a little bit of damage. We get five boost speed. Instead of two. Hmm, I don't know, this... This might be worse. Really debatable right now. Uh, Helmet-wise... Yeah. Super debatable. Like, I'm, I'm pretty torn. Uh, you get strength with this, too. Yeah, you know what? I think I just gotta keep that. I think I gotta keep that. It's too good. And keep the plate boots, even though we're super loud with them. Uh, I was really debating, but uh, I feel like we got the best possible stuff here right now. <laughs> what we should do is... Oh, uh, he's out of them. I was going to say, let's save up for another ring from the goblin. I mean, we're not stashing anything. This is permadeath. Uh, I mean, you, you lose 5 MR, but we're a cleric. You know, we got will. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think this is worse. I'm just going to sell it. And yeah, okay. I think that's it. We're going to get back into it. Oh, this spawn. It's been a while since I've had this. One of the classic spawns. Ooh, look at that. Two clarity potions. Target acquired. That's where we're going. I'm not going to waste my time picking up grays. Don't think I even need to bless here. Just move to that. One shot the other one that's about to come at us. Miss, then block it is what I meant to say. That plus nine armor on that. Check it in a second. That's really nice roll. Do we? What do we want? Do we? Or MR? Physical damage bonus to action speed. Hmm. Let's try to remember to equip this against a mage like that warlock. If we end up fighting him, but I want to get these clarity pots first. Just listening for behind me because people spawn there all the time. This is a really nice uh, place to farm. Or it doesn't seem like any other players here. So we might just farm some levels here. Nice, we got our green pots. These are huge as a cleric. Probably the most important potion you can find. Definitely the most important potion you can find. Let's just farm this room. Below us is like a nice farm spot. If we have other players, it's a different story. But right now, I feel safe. I think we go for it. Round shield. You know, I do like the heater shield better, so I'm not going to pick that up. 
These are taking up a lot of space in our inventory. This loot. Already. Pay attention. Do we see any players? I feel so slow because of this helmet, but it protects us so well. Okay, let's go down here and kill the goblins. Just looking around. Don't see any players, so I'm gonna jump down. Doors are closed, too. Yeah, I think we're pretty safe. More green pots in there. It's pretty nice to pick up. There's two goblins on the side here. Not really scared of any of them, though, to be honest. Trying to fight them while I'm buffed. Dude, look at how he curves the bullet on that. Really annoying. So many players already dead. Look at all this. In this room, you get rewarded with so much loot, too. Look at that. We're already having to drop stuff. Lantern sells for a lot, but I'm not sure if this big jewelry sells for more. It's, it is cracked, though. Ancient scroll is just too big. Maybe we get rid of the crack for the white ancient scroll. White sells better, right? And look at that, we're already loaded. Already ready to go. <laughs> yeah, the goblins are popping off in the chat. Or the kill feed, I mean. Look at that. Killing everybody. Let's just farm up this stuff, go for level 5. It's going to be our play for this round. Everybody's already dead. Not everybody, but 5 out of 9, you know. 3 potential enemies left, because I'm one of the survivors. Plenty of goblins to kill down here, so I think we just kind of go crazy. Need to be careful not to get jumped while doing this. Still not hearing anybody, though. 38? Yep, that's way better. Thank you. Feels so slow, man. I, I, I don't like plating up this early. But we get more levels. Oh, not the best. One will, one knowledge. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not worth, but, you know, it's debatable. I saw that player there. Don't know what he was. Some kind of naked. Can't tell if it's a barbarian or a rogue. Like a rogue. No, fighter, maybe. Got the crossbow. Bro, want to fight us? I don't think he does. I shot. Run at him. Nice shot. Yeah, he's definitely gonna run away. Where'd he go? Up here. Chasing this guy when I could easily just get away with my levels. It's not a rogue, right? He had a full crossbow. Popped an invis paw, yeah. Hmm. Well, another great opportunity to get out of here. I know this isn't exactly content, but it's just too smart when you're playing permadeath to take these huge come ups. Yeah, he's just trying to steal it. He didn't want to fight us, he just wanted to steal it. Oh, it was a fight. Yeah, it was a fighter. He, he, I think he opened that door over there, but he just did it so quick, I wasn't aware of it. And then there was a cleric on the other side. Or maybe he didn't open it, I don't know. There's a cleric. Yeah, just two guys left. Oh well. We'll take that XP come up. Are we level? Oh, we're level 5. That's huge. Really good choice there from us to just get out of there. Let's see what we got. Look how easy it is on getting these levels. I'm playing only like. 45 minutes, already level 5. 
hundreds of loot. Obviously, I'm selling things inefficiently, but that's just for a YouTube video. You guys would be playing this different, I imagine. Replace that blue pot. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because of the goblin. Flanged mace. We already have a good mace. Like, Ooh. Plus three move speed. That is really good. Okay, that's our front runner. Not going to risk it for that. Plus one magical healing. Also very good. Did I just mess up with what I bought? So what do we what do we need? Math. 49 plus 38. 80. I need like 80 something. Right? Let's consider those. This would be better. But we're definitely going for both of those if if we can. We can sell some pots. That's that's gonna be the play, I think. Wait, do we have some do we have some gold for us? Yeah, you do. Check everything. Okay, yep, that's our plug. Really nice uh, from the vendors here. That's going to be a come up for us. And magical healing. We like because we are quite magical. So, still looking for a better um, chest piece. I haven't found it. Do I keep this in my inventory just to like swap it out against a maid? I will probably never remember to do that, to be completely honest, but. Uh, We'll just lie to ourselves and say, like, yeah, it'll come in handy. Sell something to buy a better elf pot, maybe? I'm just saying, only two. Six. I mean, I want these clarity pots, to be honest. Better bandage. I don't like using bandages. It takes too long. We'll just get more crap pots. I, uh, you might be thinking, like, oh, why are you doing that when you're a cleric? But, like, when you're in zone and you need to stack healing or out of zone, it's it's super useful. All right, what do we want to do here for our second perk? Now that we have a good weapon, blunt weapon mastery is not bad at all. Because I'm playing permadeath, my, my, my instincts are kind of telling me I would like to survive. And survival leads me to these three options. Holy Aura, Perseverance, or Protection from Evil. Protection for evil is really strong because of all the goblin cape crap. But then my mind tells me, like, oh, bro, just, just like, dodge enemies. So then Holy Aura is what I'm thinking. These two are really good against, like, consistent small damage, like poison. So we're just going to not get hit by poison, bro. That's going to be a play. Just don't be bad. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. So that's that's going to be our come up for now. I mean, we're level 5, and let's get back into the next one. Um, we are a little slow is, like, my major concern. That might kill us later. Um, this boy, minus 12, you know, minus 5 here, not bad, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're rolling with it. We got plus 2 Agi on the, there, and we got some here. Oh, did we, was there a better shield? No, there wasn't. Okay. All right, let's get into the next one. Hopefully get some action here. I'm just playing smart, though. You guys got to remember, like, these people, lots of these people, game's been out a long time, you know, they're probably level 20, got all their things taken care of, and they're geared, you know? Sure, we're geared, but we've been playing all the way level 20. We just started this account. Perks make a big difference. Gotta play smart, right? Little bit of gear fear to invest in ourselves. If you guys are struggling to level up, Killing NPCs and extracting is the best way, you know. You guys saw that's what I just did, and I jumped, I think, two levels. So extraction is, like, the number one thing. Those early portals can be useful. Don't get greedy trying to, like, you know, get final circle kills. You don't need to be doing that when you're starting out. You know, because I have so many pots, I, I might have wanted to take get rid of the healing perk now. And go for, like, more damage. Because I really think damage would help us a lot. Being able to bonk for the extra 10% on a good uh, mace. Useful. Okay, cool. Got some loot here. I say that, but we didn't loot anything. It's all crap. Oh, nice. That's some good stuff. Sometimes players spawn another way. That's why you see me, like, turning my head. 
God, I hate how slow Cleric is opening things. That's my big weakness of Cleric. Doors. Worst enemy is a Cleric. These guys might aggro to me. Oh, apparently not. Looking for better loot. I don't hear any enemies, so I think I'm gonna pop my judgment on this guy. <laughs> I'm surprised that doesn't kill, but there's the blunt weapon mastery that I'm like kicking myself for not taking. Oh, and now the poison's gonna affect me. It's a problem with being slow, you gotta get used to blocking when you're slow. Round shield, not gonna take that again, cuz... I like my big boy shield. At least until we get stat rolls like greens. This is another really good room to farm if uh, you don't have opponents. Which, uh, surprisingly doesn't seem like we have many. Gotta be careful though. People can spawn behind us. Or underneath us, I mean. We're just clearing out the edges of the room. Nothing too serious. Pretty slow start here. Just trying to level up. That's, uh, that's terrible. I want to clear out all those guys in the mid. I just wanted to cool open up the sides in case I need to run around, if a rogue comes in here, you know, you never know. Let's buff up a little. Where these guys are real quick. This should hit him very hard. Hope he hit his boy, friendly fire. Need to see it. You can block that if you need to. Swapping out his boy here. It's funny. Easy peasy when we're all buffed like that. Might pop a green pot soon. We did use a bunch of our buffs. Pop one of them. Hurts to pop that on NPC usage, so I really shouldn't be buffing at all until, unless I want to kill a large amount of enemies like I just did there. This is a really good XP, you know, we are XP farming. I know it's a little boring sometimes, it's just simply how you should play the game when you're starting out. You don't need to go for glory every time. Hey, Francesca X. Your goblins. I think they're below. Cool. Did we clear every goblin in here? Because that is like huge XP. Yeah, I think we did. Alright, let's uh let's play towards zone then. Oh, I'm turning that off. Thought I was turning it on. Alright, five people left, four potential enemies. Be looking to kill feet, plate boots. So, one less armor for spellcasting speed. I'm going to say not worth, because I want my movement speed. But we'll sell it. Is that over there? I thought I saw something. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, let's start clearing. Archer there. Someone open the door. I think that's below us. Definitely blow us. It's a bard. I'll just leave him be. Got zone right here. Unless I can... I say that, but I kind of want to see if this... No, you can't. No. That would have to be open, it seems. I was just curious. Oh, did he just die? I think he just died. We're going to jump down there and see. I want to buff up and jump down there and see. Like, if you look in the kill feed, someone just died to a goblin warrior. He was just fighting goblin warriors. Yeah, let's go see. I don't hear him moving anymore, so... Yep, there he is. What'd you have for us? No. Ooh, you were a miner. 
Nice. And the rest of your loot's crap, but nice. Thank you for the contribution, my friend. That is enormous, by the way. Holy crap. Five ruby silver? I need to get the hell out of here. I mean, because we're permadeath, I don't think there's anything I can do with it. Give it to one of my other classes for a future video, you know? Don't like how dark it is in there. I think that room's naturally dark, though. So, six dead. Yeah. Remember what I said, anytime you aren't sure, you buff up because it could be a rogue. Instead, a skeleton champion that's bugged, and we're going to keep him that way if we can. Stand close, too close to the door and you'll free him, so you don't want to do that. So you just go this way now. Might look to campfire soon. Or just rest up our spells. It's not a bad time to rest. Take the pots off our belts so we're harder to spot. Pretty bright here though, so I think we get spotted. Bless and protection are two uh, one cost spells, I think. At least Bless is, I know for sure. This might be two. But those ones are pretty uh, cheaper spells come back really quick, as you can see. Bless is like coming up super fast. Four, five, six, seven people dead, right? Some people dead, nine total, one potential enemy here, but there have been two escape portals, so I could very well be the last guy in this lobby. That being said, I'm just going to get the blast. We're not going to wait for protection. Start spamming spells a little more now. Protection shrine's gone. I don't like that. Looking for loot there. I don't see any. Now, portals usually spawn up above. You need to start thinking about that. There could be a player. The cave escape room is just above, so we could just go there. Let's uh, pop a potion here. Alright, we got a million mobs here. There's a portal for us. I think it's some XP here. Okay, uh, that was stupid. Just trying to kill them with that. I ended up hurting myself. Oh my god. We need to be careful. This is where that lesser heal comes into play, though. Damn. Yeah, I'm just like spawning 90 things as I kill them. Talk about annoying. There's your argument for keeping the heal perk, because, man, that just did a lot for me there. I think we would have been fine without it, though. We still had two more charges. Alright, I think the last opponent has left the lobby. So, farming some XP here would be nice. Let me kill this god real quick. Let's get one more god kill. Well, yeah, I think we're the last one. Everybody's just dying too quickly. But, hey, that's good for permadeath. You know, we are farming hard. Let's see if we get anything better from these merchant rolls. You know, we just keep reinvesting in the build. We only got one level there. We a lot of stuff. It is harder to level up as you go, of course. But yeah, that ruby silver? Damn. 75 gold. Not a bad little start. Let's sell these. Plus 11. 86, quick math, right? What happened to the ruby silver? Did I just sell the ruby silver like a fucking idiot? I just did. Oh my god. 
That'll be hilarious. I, I know someone's gonna laugh about that in the comments. I just totally sold the Ruby Silver like a freaking idiot. <laughs> oh well. I mean that okay, so I had five red Ruby Silver there. And that would have got me one ingot, which I can do nothing with for this run. Or wait, 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 wait. I could have also done this, huh? How much does this give you? Uh wait, where do you Call me a noob, I forgot how to do it. Okay, three. So I could have got one of these, which would have also done nothing. Yeah, I could have given that to another class, though. Who knows if we found more? I bet, I bet that's hilarious for you guys to see, though. I, do, I know I'm going to get so much shit for that. That's funny. What does a green pickaxe even do? I don't think you mine faster. It might be a little more damage. All right, we just sell that. What can we invest in? 103. That, that is like the L of a century. Imagine selling Ruby Silver. That's so funny. Alright, let's let's take a look. All crap as expected. If if we don't get anything here, I might I might get the potion of luck. Like you know, like why not? The way these rounds have been going, refarming. Do it. Man, you guys are only selling crap, huh? Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Yep. Alright, we'll buy it. Pop a potion of luck. Why not? Uh, I want more health pots. Get the high quality ones, you know? We got plenty of plot, pots here. I think we're good. I mean, we could have got a mace, but, uh, you know, we already have a good mace, so don't need that. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's uh, hop straight back in. Oh, you know, I did talk about the potentially switching out heal for damage, which we might try. We might try. Hopefully that's not the end of us. We do have more health pots. Or we could go super tankiness with, like, Perseverance. Would not be bad either. A protection from evil. I'm thinking blunt weapons. Let's do that. And as I do that, I purchase one more cheap health pot because I'm scared. Oh my god, though. I have so many health pots, like I'm playing high roller. Funny. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Would love to swap out these uh, Mystic Vestments and Home School, but we're good for now. Potion of Luck might help us do that. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so here we are in another round. I'm starting to get a little more confidence to fight people. I've been kind of scared to fight because, uh, you know, I was like a low-level guy. But now, we're looking pretty geared. Pretty fairly geared, so. I shouldn't be as scared to fight people. I just need to check them out, you know. Like, I don't want to fight level 20s with blues and purples. So. Need to keep that in mind. You can farm all this up. It's a really nice spot. I'm gonna buff up. Screw it. Let's go for these. This is actually really dangerous, aggroing all this stuff. But we are buffed. And we have a heater shield. I think that beetle hit us and did literally nothing. That's always nice. I don't know why archers have more health than the warriors, like, make it make sense. I hate goblin archers. I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Any type of archer, by the way. Like, any NPC is just, like, can we not? Let's look this up. Already 
be finding some nice little jewelry. Oh, we'll sell that. Well, we'll keep green armor. Unless, unless we find better. Oh, I'm stupid. Potion of luck. That's right. That is right. It's not going to change the role, obviously, but, uh... Ooh, better heater shield? No, same. Same, same, same. Okay. Got our potion of luck. What's our luck at? Only 50, low roll. I think you can get up to 150 luck. I definitely gotten 100 before. I think there's a player I heard. Player does spawn below us. Usually. I hear goblin feet, though. Blue survivable, I'll take that. Just trying to listen out. There's a player that spawns over there. But I think we're just gonna grab this protection shrine and head out. Because I really want to take advantage of the potion of luck right now. So, looting... is ideal. Let's see if there's anyone over here. is. That's like a ranger. Could be below us, though. I think he is. Sounds below us. Could be a warlock. Sounds like. I think I'm gonna push this because I have protection shrine. Nope, it is a rogue. Oh my god, he's going through it. Hit him with the flashbang there, but my god, he's fucking aggroed everything. They're just gonna aggro onto us if we walk there. There's nothing we can do here. Oh, wow, there was a warlock. It was loot real quick. Pop a green pot. We did hit him with that flashbang, I think. Dude, I hate this approach. Is there a better way? Like, I, I'm not gonna just... I think he realized it, too. He just used those goblins as body blockers, right? I'm not going to take that fight. Unfortunate, I really feel like we can kill him. We can't go up and around. Already a blue por portal here. Not ready to go just yet, though. We were able to steal that guy's kill, kill loot, so that's great. Ranger is pretty hard for us to fight, though. There he is. He really should not push us here. Keep running. Need to be careful for a hunting trap. Checking for hunting traps. Am I really gonna chase this guy forever? Going back that way. There's another player behind me. What are you? You are a barbarian.
Oh my god, we played that so poorly and still kicked his ass. Oh my god. Why did I go for the Mika there? Should not have done that. Jesus. Oh my god, I played that so dumb. Oh, he's loaded. Oh my god, he was so stacked. Get this crap out of my inventory. Nope. Oh, Alright, let's calm down. Pop our heal potion here. God, will you, will you see why I like the heater shield, by the way? That's why we kept it. I have time to read all this. I... Let's grab what we can. There's no power. No, I want the healing. Probably shouldn't have used the blue heal pot there, but we need to leave. We need to leave. Getting too greedy. Let's leave. Should campfire, right? There are spells back if we can. I really hope there isn't a rogue here. Go in here and campfire real quick. How many people are dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, and one left. Seven. There's one potential enemy in here. God, I played that so stupid, but I, I just remember, you know, like like my Barbarian Guide video, it's like, why am I not blocking? I cannot run this guy with my plate. Let's just block him. That's what we did. Step up a little bit so we're in zone. Ooh. Plus 11 MR. Wow. That could be better. I don't know. Alright, portal on our right, let's just go. We need portal ace up. Oh, it might have been above us, actually. Yeah, I think it was above us. Let's head back out. That was almost the end of the run. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Oh no, we are aggroing way too much stuff. Oh, I don't have time for this. Please die. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. We got this, we got this. Hell yeah! Oh my god, I feel like fucking Jesse Pinkman right now with the hell yeah, bitch. Hell fucking yeah, man. We outplayed the Barbarian barely at the end there. And before I get called out in the comments, I do want to note, he was level 20, way better gear than us, bunch of blues, you guys saw it, greens and blues. Two perks on us, right? And we still win. And... In that moment, we couldn't have healed. So having blunt weapon mastery plus the holy aura, that was the correct call. Now, um, you could make a case for perseverance, you know, instead of that or protection from evil for his Achilles strike. But it was still a very good call there. And that's probably what gave us the damage to kill him was that extra 10%. So I'm happy with my choice. Okay, let's take a look. Sell that. See, this is the plus 11 magic, just, but, you know, we, we are a cleric. We have so much will. We're not worried about that. Now let's take a look at the rings. Will, additional move speed, dude. Why do you have so much will? You're giving us exactly what we want, buddy. I thank you. Yeah, we, we just got so kitted. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Let's sell.
Okay. Reinvest right back into this build, right? 96 gold. We can sell so many of these pods. Like, we don't, we don't need this much. We might sell a couple. <laughs> hey, you got two gold. All right. Might sell that Ring of Courage, too. I don't think I need it. Yet. Selling it. Seven gold. All right, what do we got? We are going to check everything. Take it from the top. Already got our two potions of protection. We are down a campfire. We still have two green pots. Templar armor. Meh. Might replace it for this, though. Minus 20 move speed is not what we like to see. Could get another potion of luck, but what does the god merch have for us? Oh, the morning sty star high roll. We could go for that. Go for it. Really would rather have a helmet, though, or a chest piece. We have neither of those available to us. Nothing there. Nothing. Got nothing. Got a whole lot of nothing, buddy. I'm going to keep this chest I have. I want the move speed and the will. Case in point. How much you want for this, man? You want 75. We already have a blue pendant, so I'm not going to roll for that. We could get blue off this. 75 could be worth it. I don't think there's anything else we need right now, right? So, like, let's just reinvest in the build. That's kind of where I'm leaning. Campfire, yeah, we could make an argument for that, but screw it. I'm a gambler. I know you guys want to see it, too. Ah, no. We've been screwed. We've been screwed. As you guys notice, I remember to put this uh, rat pendant on, because I thought it was a mage at first. There was a warlock down there, but it got killed by a ranger. So, I did not completely forget. Anyway, we got screwed by that. This is the same, right? Yeah. A little worse. A little worse, a little worse. We don't like to see that. Um. Yeah, campfire, campfire. That's what I'm forgetting. We have green pots, so it's debatable not to take this, but in our situation, I think we go for it. Nine gold left. What are we going to do? We get a better bandage. Don't really need it, to be honest. I think we're already good. What level are we? Level 8. Look at look how high up we're We're about to be level 10, guys. About to be level 10. We went from 6 to 8 there. Killed uh, killed a player. Killed a lot of enemies. So I'm liking this Holy Aura setup and the Blunt Weapon Mastery. Again, it's it's pretty debatable to just go full tank and take like something like Perseverance. Because this is just really, really good against the poison. So is this. Everything in the Goblin Cave really messes you up. But uh, I think, like, at the end there, especially when I'm fighting 20 goblins, like, having this blunt weapon mastery and just killing these dudes before they could be a pro become a problem was uh, correct. So, that worked out for us. I think our spells have been doing us right, so we'll keep that the same. Uh, let's get to the next one. Our big uh, upgrades here with the the rings. Yeah, we are, we are looking good. Our armor's crap. Don't get me too wrong. Our armor is crap, but uh, at least these two are. But we're doing okay. Alright, I, I can dig it. Let's go. Oh, you look weird. Can I see what you have? Okay, here we are in another uh, G kit. Couple of goblins, who cares? That Bob us, I hear skellies. Really like having my movement speed. You guys saw that barbarian fight. Like, I really feel like the extra movement speed let us close the gap on him. Like, if I was full plate, probably would have tanked better. Sure. I don't know if I ever hit the guy. So debatable. 
just listening. I saw a ranger over there. Should we go somewhere different? I feel like we've been looting this room too much. So we'll kill these guys and go somewhere different. Yeah, look how much damage that poison does to us. That is brutal. We have a lot of healing. Ooh, chaperon. Buff duration. How much faster will I be? Minus five. Not that much faster. Plus seven, you know. Really debatable. I feel faster, though. I don't know. Oh, wait, did we... Oh, I forgot to buy the potion of luck. I don't think I have the gold for it, actually. Item equip speed, 37. 38. This other one, action speed, like, those both don't really matter. Item equip speed's better, though. In that scenario. Yeah, let's go the other way. Just for the sake of something different. I always like to use my bandages when it's, like, uh, low action, because uh, you never know when you'll get an opportunity to bandage. It's pretty rare. Buff duration's nice. There is a lockpick opportunity here and a centipede. Yeah, I was about to say, there should be a gob in here. And there is. If there wasn't a gob, then we gotta start worrying about his uh, players, you know. Okay, we didn't have to use the lockpick. Nice. We can close this door and take the centipede. Not a bad little play. Not a bad little play at all. Oh, there's someone over there. Ah, he sees us. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We died just like that. Oh, no. I try. I tried to keep the distance on him. Damn. Horseman's Axe meta, man, is too powerful. He did have a perk on us, too. I should have my shield up sooner. Like, that was way too greedy to go for Josh right there. That's my, my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. It was a neat little run, guys. We, we made it so far. Uh, I, I can't help but imagine if we... Maybe if we had another perk, we might be able to, like come toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy, but, uh, who knows. He was super geared, too, right? Well, not super geared, just to do extra perk on us and a blue horseman's. I mean, horseman axe better is just insane. Oh, well. GG. Good job to the to the Barbarian there doing his two-hit kill. 23 damage axe to, kills you in two hits. <laughs> oh, well. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was the permadeath cleric run. That's gonna be it for this one. We got to level 8, so that's that's pretty far, you know, for not dying a single time. We got a few kills in, you know, got a few close fights, so I think it's a good run. We just made a huge mistake with Judgment, you know, do not try to Judgment a a Barbarian running at you when they use their shout. I just thought that, like, oh, because he's throwing so many freaking axes, it's like, can I get this off? But uh, I, I shouldn't have. I, what I should have done was uh, either had my shield up and ready, or just put all my stuff away and just, just ran and kited him out, you know. You don't need to get in a melee fight with him, so. Yep, yep. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next one.